Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I have a really fun recipe for you today um, and also a really fun deal for you. I have teamed up with Equip to bring you a special bundle discount. I love Equip products. You guys see me using the Equip Prime Protein all the time in my what I eat in a day videos. Their products are super clean, super high quality, and I love partnering with them. So real quick, before we get into the recipe, the deal that is available right now just for 72 hours, it's kind of a flash sale. Um, if you buy a bag of the Chocolate Prime Protein, along with a bag of the Chocolate Complete Collagen, you can get 20% off. And you can do more than one of each. You just have to do at least two of the products. I do have a 15% off coupon code with them that's available anytime, but it's just for your first order. And so this is a way that repeat customers can continue to get good deals. I love it when loyalty is rewarded. So this is a special deal that anyone can participate in, whether you've ordered with my coupon code or not. Uh, the coupon code for this deal is indigo20. Just put at least two of these products into your cart and put in the coupon code at checkout and you will get 20% off. This coupon will only be valid until the 20th, so make sure you order soon. All right, let's get on to these amazing cupcakes. I was so excited when this recipe came together. It's absolutely delicious. If you guys like chocolate and if you guys like peanut butter and if you guys like cheesecake, you're gonna love these cupcakes. The cupcake base is chocolate peanut butter and the frosting is chocolate cream cheese frosting. And it's phenomenal in combination. First thing I'm gonna do is get my oven preheated to 300 degrees. First ingredient is three fourths of a cup of peanut butter. I'm just using the Skippy uh, no sugar added peanut butter, but I expect any would work. I also expect that if you don't want it to be specifically peanut butter flavored, that you could do like a cashew butter or an almond butter and then just be more straight chocolate flavored. Three fourths of a cup is 192 grams. I always use my kitchen scale for this kind of thing because a measuring cup coated in peanut butter is no fun to clean. So I set my container on the scale, zero it out, and then take out the peanut butter until I have minus 192 grams on the screen. And that is my baking tip for the day. Next thing is gonna be one teaspoon of vanilla extract and six tablespoons of allulose, and that is 54 grams. Since I use allulose and it browns really fast, I have to keep the temperature of the oven lower, so that 300 degrees. If you choose to use a different kind of sweetener, um, you might be able to bump up the temperature of the oven to like 325 or 350, uh, but I have not experimented with that. I'm just gonna get this all mixed up and incorporated. Next, I'm gonna add in my four eggs. All right, it doesn't act like it's gonna mix in at first, but if you just keep going, eventually it'll mix in and become smooth. Now we're gonna add in the dry ingredients. We're gonna do two scoops of the chocolate prime protein, and that comes to about 52 grams. And I do expect that the collagen, the chocolate collagen would work in place of the um, prime protein here, I have not tried it, but my suspicion is that it would work as well. My oven is preheated, perfect. Next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder and one half teaspoon of Redmond Real Salt. I'm gonna try to mix the baking powder and the salt into the prime protein powder just to make sure I don't get any clumps of salt or baking powder in my mixture. And then gently mix it all together. All right, that is all ready to go into the muffin pan. I am going to line my pan with, ooh, I'm gonna line my pan with papers and I am also going to spray with some avocado oil spray. We're gonna just have these about half full. If you're gonna skip the frosting uh, and you want these to be more like muffins, you can totally do like 
10 or eight and fill them a little bit fuller and you'll get a really nice round top like you'd want for a muffin. But since I'm going to be frosting these, I want the top to be a little bit more flat. All right, I always fill my cupcake liners too full and have to readjust. Anybody else? All right, I am gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. While the cupcakes are baking, we are gonna get the frosting going. Um, I have had my cream cheese and my butter sitting out on the counter here for an hour or two, um, you wanna make sure that they are softened and at room temperature. If you try to start with cold uh, cream cheese especially, you're gonna have really clumpy frosting, which is no fun. And I just happen to have the one third less fat cream cheese, so that's what I'm using. You can totally use the regular full fat cream cheese. We're gonna do four ounces, which is half the block, and two ounces of butter, which is half the stick. I'm gonna take this over to the KitchenAid and get it whipped up, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, now I'm gonna add my powdered allulose, and super easy to make powdered allulose if you can't buy it already powdered. I just put it in my Vitamix, whizzed it up, and it's powdered allulose. We're gonna do one cup, which is 144 grams. Next, we're gonna do two scoops of the chocolate complete collagen, and that is about 38 grams, because each scoop is 18.7 grams. And last ingredient is one teaspoon of vanilla. Now my butter is salted, so I did not add any salt. If you use unsalted butter, maybe add a pinch of salt here. All right, just gonna get this whipped up until it looks like frosting. Quick scrape of the sides. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna attempt to be fancy and pipe the frosting on these, but that is not my that is not not my forte. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge since it's warm in my kitchen right now until the cupcakes are done and completely cooled. Cupcakes are done. Don't they just look perfect? Um, a toothpick came out almost clean. I think if you cooked them all the way until a toothpick came out completely clean, they'd be too dry. So they shouldn't be gooey, but a little bit of like crumble on the toothpick is totally fine. I'm gonna pull them out of the pan and let them cool on my wire rack and make sure they're completely cool before I attempt to frost them. All right, these are completely cool to the touch and I'm going to make an attempt at frosting them. We shall see how it goes. Perfect, I just have a tiny bit left over, it is perfect. All right, pretend these are keto sprinkles for me, sprinkles are one of those things um, in the category of with a small enough serving, anything can be keto. Uh, but if you have some keto sprinkles, even better. I know Super Fat by Perfect Keto used to have some keto sprinkles, but I don't think they're available anymore. Um, so if anyone has any ideas of keto sprinkles, uh, I would love to hear about it. I feel like that would be a really great business to start, a cake decorating, a keto cake decorating uh, type business. I think these turned out so super cute. And let me tell you, they are absolutely delicious. I enjoyed my test batch for several days. It was such a great treat. All right, thank you for hanging out in the kitchen with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to head over to Equip to pick up your Chocolate Lovers bundle. Use the discount code INDIGO20 for 20% off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.